Hi, I'm Rob with the SpyCamStore.com. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the wireless IP network cam. What this is is a, is a, is a wireless camera that operates on a frequency similar to your uh, to, to what a router, a wireless router frequency would, would operate on. Uh, what this is good for is, say you have a business, uh, a home office or something that you want to monitor, inside this is an indoor camera. It has to be something you want to monitor inside like a store, a front, a warehouse, and a home office and you want to be able to see and uh, hear what's going on at that location from anywhere in the world, this is the product you're going to want. The way this works is, is it works through a, a network, a, a wireless network, and, and in order to have a wireless network you need high speed internet and you also need a router. Now the router doesn't come with the unit here, but this is something you're going to have if you have a network. So basically when you get the unit itself, what you're going to find is, is you're going to find a wireless IP camera, you're going to find uh, a network cable. You're going to need that to, to plug in one time to configure the, the IP camera. You're also going to have software that you're going to install on the computer uh, that you want to monitor the camera from. So say at your home uh, you want to monitor your business, you install this on your home PC. You're also going to have a quick installation guide. It's going to take you through the setup probably in about five or ten minutes. You're also going to have your power adapter for your camera. The camera still needs power. You've got to plug it in. You're also going to have an ID card. What the ID card has is your camera ID and a password. This camera has a built-in web server, which means when you plug it into the internet, it automatically sets itself up to where you can log into it. And in order to do that, you need the camera ID and the password. Very important card to keep. And then you're also going to have a mounting bracket that allows you to mount it up high uh, either for a uh, you know, security situation or you know if you just want to give it more stability. So the way this works is you're going to take your IP camera, you're going to plug it into the wall, which I'm not going to do here, you know how to plug stuff in. Plug it into the wall and you're going to take a network cable. It comes with a blue one. I'm using a yellow one. It doesn't matter what color the cable is. Plug one end on the back of your router, you're going to probably going to have a four port router, which is the most common type. One through four, need an available port, simply plug it in here. I'm going to plug it into one. I'm going to set this down. I'm going to plug in my IP camera. And then I'm going to go to my computer. I'm going to log in here. It's all in the installation guide. I'm going to log into my IP camera. I'm going to configure it for wireless access because right now it's set up to be a hardwired IP camera, which you can use it as. But we want to do wireless, so all we're going to do is configure it for a wireless setting. Then once that's done, we're going to unplug this from the back of the camera. We're going to set our camera back down. We're going to take our plug out the back of our router. Set this off to the side. All right, now once we've done that configuration, all we do is we take our wireless IP camera to whatever location we want to install it at, plug it in, boom, you're done. It's ready to go. And you can start recording right onto that computer that you installed the software on. You can record audio and video. It's motion activated recording too, which means it's only recording when somebody's walking in front of this thing. So you're not going to have hours of seeing nothing but dead space. Oh, you can also hear, uh, you can also hear uh, uh, what's going on at that location too.